Welcome to Crafty Beach, this is Julie. Today I have some more St. Patrick's Day DIYs for you. All going with my coastal farmhouse theme in my house. And here's a little preview. I made a wreath for my front door for St. Patrick's Day. And a few more items to go with my St. Patrick's Day DIYs that I have displayed in my house. So we made four items today and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna make is the shamrock wreath for the front door. I got this great wreath form at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use this nautical rope jute, which is eight feet from the Dollar Tree. And I just grabbed a whole bunch of them that were all the same size. We'll have to count along to figure out how many I used because I don't remember. But I, I know I pulled the perfect amount out of my bed, which is always funny. And so just to start, I flipped it over and I'm just gonna start gluing down the rope just to like whatever frame that I can find. I'm gonna start here at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is weave this entire shamrock with this rope. And so there's three wires. So what you wanna do is alternate going over and under. So the one row you will go over and the next row you will go under the, the, the wire in the middle and then you go back and forth and alternate around the edges as well. So I'm feeding this through through the center of the stem like that. And then I'm just gonna start working in one direction. I wrap that around, bring it in. This time we go over and then you go under and you just keep weaving back. And you'll be able to see a little bit of that green wire rim in the final project. But as long as you keep your rope tight, you're not gonna be able to see very much of that wire rim. So basically put something on that you wanna listen to. I have like a little echo show out at my crafting station. So I put on Netflix, I put on that show, oh, Love is Blind, really good. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. I, I really liked it. I think I'll go back and watch season one as well. I love those crazy dating shows. And so, it takes a while, so you just have to just keep weaving back and forth. And the first one of these I made was my Halloween wreath that I made last fall. I made one with like ghosts and like a spooky tree on there and I loved how it turned out. So I thought this technique would be really fun to try to make a shamrock for my front door for St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day um, it's quite a bit earlier than Easter this year, so you have plenty of time to display this before you have to get your Easter decorations out. And I think the rope um, gives it like more of a like coastal vibe or a rustic vibe. And so I want this to kind of go with the theme of my house with coastal farmhouse. And so I will be decorating it as well. Now you can kind of see here about how far one of those packages of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree go. And be careful when you're pulling your packages for this because there's all different kinds of um, widths and lengths. I can kind of tell them apart um, by looking at how, what the length is on each one and then I automatically know they're like the same size if the, if the lengths match up but I think there's like three different like diameter ropes from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna glue that off on the back. I'm trimming it up a little bit so I don't have too much rope. And basically just attaching that to the back with hot glue, just giving that a minute to harden up. And then we can start with our next rope. So this is gonna be rope package number two and they do have tape on the end. I do cut it off like the beginning rope that I start, but I leave the tape on the other end because it is really important when you're weaving in and out of all those wires that you keep that tape on there. 
Otherwise, you're going to end up with like a really frayed rope from all of the weaving in and out. Now, when you start and stop, really pay attention to what you are doing so you know exactly how to start back up and that your pattern will continue. When you get to the end of a little section, just keep pushing and get it as tight and as full as you can. This is kind of an irregular shape compared to what I've worked with before. So you kind of have to like wiggle it around to make it look full on the outside when the inside's like really tight. But I still try to get it as tight as I possibly can before I start the next section. And so I just keep weaving. I love how these turn out. My arms are always tired when I'm done doing them though. It's kind of like, um, reminds me of um, how you feel when you do like the macrame and stuff like that. So that was rope number two. And we're gonna glue that end down. And I'm gonna try to speed this up as much as I can because there was a lot of footage because this is kind of time consuming, but oh my goodness, it's so worth it. It turns out so pretty. And so this was rope number three. And we are on rock and roll speed now. I have um, three other St. Patrick's Day videos that I've made so far. I made like a wall decor one. I made like a shelf decor one and I made a, a tear tray one. And I'm planning on doing at least one more St. Patrick's Day video after this. I want to do another tear tray, this time with more of like a coastal farmhouse feel. My first one was kind of more traditional and I had a great uh, leprechaun gnome on the top of that tear tray. So, so fun. I really hope you're enjoying this DIY. If you are, don't forget to hit the like button. When you're done watching, comment below your favorite DIY. I'd really appreciate it. And then once I get here, the bottom, the bottom only has the two wires, right? So I just wrap that around. Unfortunately, my rope was a little short, so I am going to have to start another rope here. And I think I've lost count on the, how many ropes I've used. Darn it. Okay, I will watch it back again and I'll put it in the description below. <laughs> it's like four or five, right? And so once I get towards the end, I'm just gonna kind of glue it to itself to make sure it doesn't fall off there at the end and cut that to a size. And we have this great reef. Look how pretty it is. I like to go around with like a lighter and burn off any of the extra fibers on there. But this is such a beautiful way to DIY a Dollar Tree wreath form and make it look like a million bucks. So just cleaning that up. Those rope, that rope is pretty high quality, so it's not too crazy looking. Now I want to make a hanger. I'm gonna use some of this palm leaf, a ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. I think it's so pretty. And I think that that green color will go good for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just gonna cut off a piece of this wide ribbon and we're gonna make a hanger for our reef. I'm just gonna do a simple loop hanger for the top that I can use to hang it. You really could just use uh, the top um, on your reef hanger, but I wanted a little bit more, I wanted it to be a little bit lower. So we're gonna do a little quick loop that we just attach to the back of the shamrock with some hot glue. And then I want to decorate this. Um, if you wanna leave it as is, totally cool, or you can personalize it like I'm about to do. I like, I have a coastal beach house. I love the coastal farmhouse decor. So I'm gonna first attach a starfish. I buy those on Amazon and I can post a link below for those. And also for um, the sand dollars that I get. And I'm also gonna do a seashell. So I'm just gonna kind of decorate on one side of the shamrock gonna kind of give me the feel that I want. And I'm just attaching the seashell with some hot glue down to the rope. And then I'm gonna glue down that little sand dollar as well. 
And I love adding um, shells and I love the starfish and the sand dollars that I get on Amazon and the seashells from the Dollar Tree. Now I don't have very much of this beautiful ribbon left. This is all I have left, but I want to do like a bow for the stem of the, the um, shamrock. So I'm going to do a very simple bow that's going to require as least amount of rib ribbon as possible. I just make two loops, fold them, and then tie the loops together. It's going to give me a beautiful little bow like that. So you can kind of adjust it how you want it. And I want to kind of do like a little crooked bow like down on the stem. And I'm just trying to get that even. And then I'm going to go in and um, attach that to our reef. And then I'm going to go in and dovetail the ends of our ribbon to make it nice and pretty. And I'm so disappointed that I'm out of this ribbon. I should have bought more. Hopefully I'll be able to find it again at Dollar Tree. It's so pretty. Just making sure my two tails are about the same length. And then I don't really like the middle part of the ribbon where I had to reverse it. So it's the back white part. So I'm just going to glue another seashell to that as well. Then I decided that bow was really like crowding that seashell there a little bit. And so I'm just going to use my heat gun to try to move it down a little bit. So that you can see that seashell and it doesn't really interfere with it. But I still kind of want it, it to go on there like crooked like that. I think that looks really cute. It brings another little touch of green to our project as well. And let me show you how this turned out. I really love this reef and I was really needing something to go on my door for St. Patrick's Day. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I'm so glad that I added the starfish and the shells and the sand dollars and I really like the bows as well. Okay, up next we're going to do this little lucky pot of gold. It's one of these wood decor items from the Dollar Tree and with their St. Patrick's Day decorations. And I am just going to stain this entire pot of gold with just some antique wax by Waverly. Just kind of going all over. I really only want the pot to be that color, but I just decide to go in and stain the entire thing and then wipe off the excess. I'm gonna wipe off the excess with a wet wipe. That'll take a little bit more of it off and give me a little bit more of a lighter stain. And look how pretty that wood from the Dollar Tree stains. Now I'm just using a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree and some ivory paint to a base coat on the Lucky Words, which are raised a little bit um, from the rest of the sign. And I'm gonna plan to make those green, but I really want that color to pop against the, the brown wood that I stained. So that's why I did a base coat of ivory to make that brighten up a little bit. Now for the pot of gold, I thought seashells would be perfect. So I'm just going through my shell collection some of these are from the Dollar Tree. A lot of them I just found on the beach. And I'm just kind of picking out ones that are about the same size as the little gold pieces on the top of that sign. And then I'm just gonna attach them all with some hot glue. And I'm just gonna work my way around. I thought that seashells would be the perfect pot of gold to go with my decor. I have um, two shells of St. Patrick's Day DIYs that I already made, but I still had one shelf that I needed to fill. So I'm gonna do two projects to um, fill that up and then one more project for the top of my bookcase and I am gonna be ready for St. Patrick's Day. When I get to the second layer, I just kinda glue it to the wood and to the shell that it kinda sits on top of. And I'm trying to just like pick appropriate sizes to fill up as much as that pot as I can with the seashells. Awesome. So now it's full. I'm going to go in and finish painting the word lucky again with just a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. I'm just using some green acrylic paint. I think this is the color Christmas green. Just a nice green color for St. Patrick's Day. And then cleaning up any green that I got on the rest of the pot. 
And then I wanna go in and paint our gold as well. So I'm just gonna use some gold acrylic paint. I think I got this at the Target dollar spot. And a brush and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna paint all of our little white seashells gold to really make those seashells look like a pot of gold. I thought that would be a really fun little beachy touch for our pot of gold. Gold shells. That's my kind of pot of gold. <laughs> And I kind of go in on the wood behind it too, kind of fill in any areas to make it look super full. And I want to make this, um, I went ahead and covered the hanger because I want this to be a shelf decor item. And so I'm just gonna use a couple of wood blocks. I get these at five below, they're little giant Jenga blocks. And you can use whatever you have. It's kind of top heavy with the seashells on top there. And so I thought I needed a pretty big stand. And so I just glue one of those to both of the legs of our little pot of gold. And this is how it turned out on the shelf in my house. Isn't it cute? Really love it. Okay, the next DIY is going to be a little leprechaun. I'm gonna use one of these bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and one of these felt leprechauns from the Dollar Tree as well. I don't really want this to be that light natural wood like that, so I'm just gonna go in and stain this with some Antique Wax by Waverly. You would be surprised how well these little wood cutting boards stain. I always have a ton of these. Whenever I see them, I buy like 10 of them because they're such a versatile, thick piece of wood from the Dollar Tree. You can make so many different things with them. Just wiping off the excess with a paper towel and a baby wipe. And I really like the little leprechaun head. And so that's what I'm planning to use for this DIY. It's kind of attached with a uh, little gold rivets on its beard, but I'm just kind of trying to take that apart as much as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the hanger off of this because I'm gonna attach this to the front of that wood board. And I just have to try to pry out those little prongs out of his beard. It did leave three little holes there in his beard, but I can just paint that, that's not a big deal. And then I'm just kind of measuring him for size. I like the fact that he kind of overlaps the sign a little bit, but I don't really like the hanger there on the top, so I'm gonna shorten his hat just a little bit just by trimming the felt. And I don't really wanna interfere with his beard, so I will just fill those holes in. I'm gonna start by attaching it with hot glue. So I'm gonna start here at the bottom and gluing his little beard down. I thought this a leprechaun was super cute. I think they have a couple different styles, but I thought the colors on this really went with the decor that I have already made for St. Patrick's Day. And you'll see that in the final reveal, how they all look together. And I'll post a link below to that DIY video as well, in case you haven't seen it. To fill the little holes in the brown beard, I'm just going to use a little bit of Antique Wax by Waverly and dry that into those holes say that you can't see that he had the little holes in his felt. And I don't really like the shamrock on his little hat. So I'm gonna use my heat gun to very carefully pull that off. Trimming the hat there as I go, making sure it's glued down really well because I'm gonna decorate this with a little coastal touch as well. I thought a sand dollar would look really cute on our little leprechaun hat. But first, I wanna make this gold as well. I thought it would look like a fun little gold coin on his hat instead of that felt shamrock. So again, just painting with some of that metallic gold acrylic paint. These are so easy to paint. And we have a little gold sand dollar for our hat. I'm just going to attach that with hot glue to the felt of him. This was such an easy DIY, and I really love that I was able to bring in a little leprechaun to my decor. And I wanted to stand up as well, so I'm gonna use another wood Jenga block, just any wood block will do, and glue that onto the back, and so he'll stand on my shelf like this. Isn't he cute? 
I really love how he turned out. All right, our last DIY is this felt garland. I got this at the party section at Dollar Tree, like with the birthday party stuff, and I thought this would make a great rainbow banner for the top of my St. Patrick's Day display. So I'm just gonna use some twine from the Dollar Tree and like a big upholstery needle, and I'm just gonna start stringing rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I'm not really gonna use the pink, but you totally could if you want. I just go ahead and I repeat the pattern twice, and I think that's gonna be about enough for the top of my bookshelf. And I wanted to let you know that we do have a Facebook group over on Facebook. I would love to see what you guys are crafting, any of your DIYs, if you make any of my Crafty Beach DIYs, or make whatever you guys are crafting. I would love to see it. So I'll post a link below to our Facebook group. It's called Crafty Beach. And you can come join us over on Facebook. And I'm also on Instagram. And I'll post a link to that as well. So we have both of our patterns on here. And I'm just going to tie that to the top of my shelf. I have little hooks on the top because I like to hang banners there. And I thought that was a nice, fun touch of rainbow for our DIYs. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Here is the final reveal. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't Stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street With all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way up And I won't stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down